What is up, my veg crew? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. I wish it was on better terms, you know what I mean? The title says it all. First time here, welcome aboard. If you come back, welcome back aboard. So today is a day I've been dreading for a while now. I sold my boat. I mean, like they say, your happiest days of owning a boat are the day you buy it and the day you sell it. It's the most two happiest days of owning a boat. I'll tell you what, the day I bought it was definitely the happiest. The day I sold it, not really the happiest day of my life. Like I, I love that boat. Like I really love that boat. Like it's been a super good boat. It catches fish. It brought me and my crew back home safe every single trip, which is key. And today's the day. I'm selling it today. You know I mean, I had crazy for a little while, and I know the whole COVID thing probably got me lower price than what I wanted for it. But keep it on money right now. So I'm grateful that I sold it. I'm grateful for the new owner. I hope he catches a lot of fish and I hope he's very safe on the boat. Uh, so the boat right now is at the mechanic shop. I sent it there because that's who installed the motor on it, who did all the work on it. So I sent it there, give it the once over, make sure everything's all good before I turn it over to him. Um, he's gonna meet me on there right now to meet the mechanic, go over everything with the boat, and then uh, kind of like get the peace of mind about the motor, get right, all the information he needs to make sure that, hey, you know what, I'm selling him something that's good and not trying to rip anybody off. So um, another thing too is for him to meet the mechanic. I told him this key, meet the mechanic, know who works on the boat. That way, if anything happens in the future or you need something done service-wise, you can always go to him if you don't want to do it yourself. So we'll be there shortly. Uh, you know, stay to the end. Stay to the end as you're watching this now. Don't just think it's just me moping around selling my boat. Because at the end, you're going to see why we're selling the boat. <laughs> you're going to see why we're selling the boat. It's a sad day I'm selling this boat. I love this boat, but... You'll see the big reason why I'm selling this boat. If you follow me, you'll know why. If you don't follow me, you'll be like, what? What's he selling this boat for? So, uh, we'll be there probably like two seconds YouTube time. And then uh, I'll let you meet the new owner. Super good guy. Sure he's going to catch a lot of fish in this boat. I'm going to hook him up with a bunch of lures. Give him the gaffs because we're going to make new gaffs. So, the gaffs got to stay at the boat. I'm going to make new gaffs for the future. All right, let's get over there and uh, let's uh, get her done. So the new owner just met me at the mechanic. Uh, got the boat in the back of the truck right now. The mechanic gave it the once over. Went over everything with him, showed him everything. Everything's running up to the way it should be optimal. Uh, and now we're gonna go to Hawaii Cairo fast. I told him I towed on there for him. You know I live on the other side of the island. <laughs> but I'm gonna tow it to Hawaii Cairo. We're gonna dump in the water, give him a test ride. And then from there we'll say our goodbyes. But my goal for this boat before I sold it, like I knew I was, I knew I was gonna have to sell it later on the beginning part of the year. And my goal, I told myself, is hopefully I get to fish at least a little while during eye season. I, I guess I got the beginning part of eye season. And I told myself, I want to catch at least one fish, at least one eye during eye season. And that'll that'll make me happy. So I conquered my goal. The last ship on this boat, I caught the eye. That was the last ship I went on this boat. Um, he gave me most of the money last week to hold it. So I was like, ah, I can't fish it. And that's why you saw the tuna cutting video last week because I couldn't fish it. I want to fish it tighter than, but I need to see that for this coming week. So... Okay, so here we go. We're going to see you guys at Hawaii Kai and we'll see you guys on the water. All right, everybody. Be there soon. Oh, on the boat, the new owner today. Test drive action. Ah. Jacob, I'll put his, his Instagram. You can watch his yeah. adventure with this boat. See him catch some fish in this boat. So we'll put his link in his Instagram so you guys can follow him. All right. <laughs> All right. Test drive Hawaii Kai. First time this boat's been Hawaii Kai. With me, anyway. Yeah. I never ever lost, right guys? Too far for me to drive. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, good luck with them. Take care Hello, of them man. now. Okay, okay, good luck. There she goes. That's a good boy. I told him take good care of that boat. That's a good boat. Put his Instagram. Y'all follow that guy. He's gonna catch my fish with that boat. I'm telling you, that's a good boat. They always say, when you sell your boat, it's the best day of your life. Tell you what. It's a sad day today. I'm sad to see that boat, but that boat was. I'm sad to see that boat go. All right. Well, what's in store for our adventure now? There's only anything to do. We gotta get on a plane. Let's get on a plane. Here we go, boys. See you guys at the airport. We're at the airport. This place is a ghost town. Check it out. There are no lines anywhere. So uh, let's get on a plane. Let's get to where we're going. All right. So we're in. We went to TSA. The line wasn't too crazy. It was like no line at all. But because I am a commercial fisherman, I have a commercial fishing license. By the governor, I'm allowed to travel, so that's what gave me the, the, 
the, I guess, availability of travel, I guess, because of that. It's probably not the right word. So, place is empty, as you can see, it's a ghost town. So let's make it to our flight, and then let's go to, let's go make it to Force Marine. Alright, let's go. On behalf of all of us at Hawaiian Airlines, thank you very much Hello? for choosing to fly with us. Mahalo so, Nui Nua and enjoy your flight. Time. This was a, a fast day trip. I'm only here for like three hours, but I'm waiting for Ahab. Ahab was supposed to be here like 15 minutes ago. So I guess we'll keep waiting. Time is a ticking. We'll see, hopefully he gets here soon. And then we'll go straight to Force Marine. He's finally here. He's finally here like 40 minutes later. Now I mean like 20 minutes later. Unbelievable. Check out an Uber. So yeah, bye. Check out Uber. Takes yeah. so damn long. Yeah, fire crotch red truck. Check it out. You took long enough to check out Uber. <laughs> All right, let's go to Force. All right, so we're here at Force with Ahab. Check out the green machine. We should, we should, we should see it. We should we should save the the oh check that out that's it oh yeah nice one so here it is it's getting there it's getting there so we got our our bench sheets in right there there were some must come back further but we got our bench sheets right there and our fish box huge fish box. Let's cut down the front to walk. Our Ikimon, our storage. The pool holders to come in. And that's pretty much it. So it should be done soon. And then, uh, let's go to the shop and put in our everything else. Uh, cabin, not a big cabin, but enough for it. So, lots and lots of room. Lots of room for the kids to screw around to. Storage, more storage. Uh, this is my, uh, my fuel stuff. Looks good though, looks good. You get the 470 with a little bit of split. You're on the Aussie, 470 port, yeah. It's higher. So when it's much higher, when I sit on that fish box, and I took out the seat, you the seat. I set it on a fish box, and where did they get all the weeks from? I look to the So they got it set up for the outboards on here. And then pretty much wait for the holders. See, so I, yeah, I finished my seats. Up here, my box up there, and then the extension on the side, splash guard. And then my coders out here, and it should be done. So, this engine is next. So, huge box. The box on top is five feet, and it goes forward underneath another foot and a half, just so I have a place to walk around. That's good though. So, if you're on Kauai, if you're on Kauai, be aware there's a new deal on our vessel coming. I said, yeah. As a 25 foot force going to Kauai, DLNR, so probably be patrolling the how you know how those guys operate. Private interest, private interest. So, like I said, seat boxes, uh, yeah, I do the side stuff, and my pole holders, and it should pretty much be done. So, hopefully, by 4th of July is what we're shooting for, what I'm shooting for. 
I don't know if Jim is here for 4th of July, but I am. All right, let's go. So the Maui, the 35, is almost done. Then uh, the, the main thing that's holding my boat up, it should have been done already. And there's a couple more fiberglass things to go, like I pointed out earlier. But the main thing that's holding up is the rub reel. The rub reel goes around. The manufacturer shut down because of the whole COVID thing. So we're waiting for the rub reel. And that's the worst part. And like Jim said, we're, we're shooting for 4th of July. My plan is to be driving this boat back 4th of July weekend at the absolute latest. Like I said, I'm driving it back. I'm not going to be shipping it because Young Brothers want like $7,000 to ship it. 200 miles, I'll drive it back. That's why I'm excited. Can't wait. Ready to go. It's a cardboard template, so don't think that it's going to be that color. It's a cardboard template. I love the green. Go green. So soon, soon, soon. Very soon, very soon. Motors, motors. But they have a, a 25 rear going to R, and I'll show you the other boats. Stock in store with Ahab, my dad. So my dad's like, maybe I want to build something too. But this is a, a 18 force. I don't know it's going. Beautiful boat though. 18 force. A 21. 18. 21. 21. Yeah, so this is a little different. You see this? 21. Oh, so 21 also? Yeah, so you see this? Oh, oh it raised it, huh? Yeah, it raised it. Oh, okay. So it raised it higher on this one, what are you saying? <laughs> so they're both 21. This is the normal size. Aloha. And this is the race size. <laughs> this is the force guys right The boys have force that make all the magic happen right there. Aloha. <laughs> and I believe this extension back is for all boards for Dylan R for Kauai, and that's going to go on the back of here. So I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I'm boatless. I need a boat. I'm gonna be fishing with Tyler more uh, till my boat's done. Tyler's the same boat as me, pretty much. And I kind of copied his setup, very, very similar. So, can't wait. I almost forgot my friend Travis's scoops. He's like, can you get me scoops while you're there for the, for the outside? So, I, I literally almost left with, without getting them. White, yeah. Kid in a toy factory over here. I make lures so resin smell doesn't bother me. My dad's like, that was that smell, like me making lures. I can't smell it, but I'm sure any other buddy else come over here, burn your nose. So Travis, <laughs> I got your scoops, Travis. Your scoops are coming home. See you later, Hilo. It's been real. As always, everybody, tight line, see you fishing. I'll see you on the water. I'll see you Saturday for a fishing trip at 11 o'clock. Roar, roar.